So, we are at NAMM 2020. My name is Andreas Wagner and I'm with Rebeat and we developed a software called Perfect Groove. And the story behind the software is that with vinyl on the rise, more and more mastering engineers actually try to master for vinyl. But in the end, they don't have a cutting lathe. So they master, but they master sort of blind. And then in the end, they give the mix to another guy or girl and who does the actual cutting on a cutting lathe. And then these people usually apply a filter here, a filter there, because they're used to this. And this might end up changing the mix um, and the actual mastering engineer not having the influence over the, or the control over the mix until the, the very end. And what the software does is it takes the, the mastered mix, so we don't interfere with the mastering, interfere with the mastering, but we just take the, the final mix and we pretend to be a virtual cutting lathe and we cut a groove and analyze the groove. So all the funny, the funny colors here are um, actually a colorized, a colorized uh, representation of the needle velocity or the width and, width and depth of the groove. And we try, the color indicates where we have some issues. And you can also zoom in so you see the, really the groove and get close. And we all, uh, the, the software also throws a bunch of errors. So here it tells me, hey, you might look at your groove because it looks like it's, it's becoming too skinny for the needle to trace. So in this part, the groove is actually way too, uh, too narrow and the, groove might uh, the needle might jump out in the end when you play it back. And we do this for, for needle velocity. So we analyze needle velocity here. The red, red color indicates that at this um, particular position in the audio file, your needle might become too fast and you might want to do something about it. And the software suggests some changes, but the actual change will be done by the mastering engineer. So we again, we don't touch the mastering change, uh, chain. We just suggest um, some alterations which might help the mix. And the goal is then in the end that you are clear of warnings and errors and then you send this to the pressing plant or to the cutting uh, lathe and they can cut without applying any filters anymore. And this hopefully improves the product. And maybe another, another mention to the software, this ties it also into with uh, HD vinyl. So it's, we developed it originally as the mastering tool for HD vinyl and HD vinyl is replacing the idea to replace all the analog cutting process and the electroplating process until you have uh, created the stamper for actual vinyl pressing to replace this pro process with uh, a laser process. So instead of cutting into lacquer and then electroplating and creating a, elect uh, a metal stamper, we create a glass stamper, which is still an analog stamper. And then from this we press the HD vinyl. And cutting out all the electroplating allows us uh, to remedy some uh, shortcomings of the lacquer. But, uh, so for example, in, uh, if you cut into lacquer, you have to leave a certain space between the grooves, because otherwise one groove will move the ridge between the grooves so the, into the next groove and you get a crosstalk. And all these well-known uh, flaws of, of lacquer cutting will be remedied uh, by the laser process. So we, we actually started the perfect groove software for HD vinyl mastering. But then many analog uh, mastering engineers approached and said, hey, this is interesting. We don't really believe in HD vinyl, but you'll see. Uh, but for the analog mastering process, this might be an interesting tool as well. So we enhanced uh, the software to do this as well and act as a preview for analog mastering. So is this software meant as just an indication for the people generating the audio file? Or is it meant to also send to the cutting engineer so they have a representation of what issues were raised? So the, the idea is to give this actually to the mastering engineer to enhance their mastering mix. But it would also be possible to apply it in the cutting in the cutting or in the pressing plant where the cutting lathe is. So the engineers there could analyze the mix as well and go back to the mastering engineer and say, hey, you might apply a filter here or there, or they, they themselves could apply the filters and make the alterations as well. So it could be used on both ends, but one end should have it to, to improve it. And roughly how much is it? Uh, we haven't released it yet and we haven't really decided on a final price yet, but it will come out in summer 2020, hopefully, and then we will announce a price as well.